Hey Parkland, we're here in Long Beach, California where we just finished competing in the STN National Convention. We did everything from short films all the way to a live news broadcast. Here's our work. The first competition we competed in was Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights is where you have eight hours to film, edit, and produce a news magazine. Here it is. We're here in Long Beach, California, known for its scenery, marinas, and tourist attractions. In today's show, we'll be covering an impressive filming location, the importance of our canine companions on the community, and the impact of water pollution in the area. Hello, STN. I'm Taryn Merrick. And I'm Luca Patton. Welcome to a special STN edition of Parkland Profile. Long Beach is a great place to live your life, and dogs can only make that better. They're a key part of bringing people out and about and getting people together in our communities. I know I love playing in the sun with my dog, Matai. And the best part of my day is always getting to walk down the street and pet a little doggy. Now, over to Mac Yeager. In Long Beach, animals are a prevalent part of the community. I'm news correspondent Mac Yeager, and Live Love Animal Rescue's mission is to save homeless animals and provide them a forever home. Owning a dog has been proven to increase the quality of life for the owner, and nearly 40% of Californians own at least one dog. They have been proven to to lower blood pressure, decrease chances of heart attacks, and lower depression rates. We spoke to local dog owners in the area, and they also agreed that their dog has improved their quality of life. My name is Cameron Amini. His dog's name is then? Pugsy. And my favorite thing about my dog is that he's very playful and he's very friendly. I've had the dog for four weeks. It's a mini Australian Shepherd. Okay. He's the breed of the dog. Uh, this is Addison. She's two and a half and my oh. name is Jessica. Uh, we got her at the Harbor uh, Rescue uh, just across the bridge in San Pedro. Favorite thing, the way she sighs when she's happy, oh. like when she's content. In the year 2021, they cared for 209 dogs, adopted 125, and received help from 177 foster families. For STM, I'm news correspondent Mac Yeager. Now back to Taryn and Luca. Thanks, Mac. Traveling from across the country, we had some high expectations for what to expect in terms of weather. Coming from all that Pennsylvania mush we've become accustomed to. Let's hear from our favorite weatherman, Ethan Earthquake Silver, to know what to expect in the next couple days. Good morning, STN. This is Ethan Earthquake Silver here with today's weather report. Today in Long Beach will be mostly cloudy and windy with a high of 61. Later on, we can expect skies to open up for some afternoon sun. Tomorrow we'll have similarly cloudy skies and on Saturday look forward to sunnier skies and warmer weather. Across the nation, temperatures range from high 60s down to south with 20s up north. California is looking mostly storm free, but the eastern half of the country will see rain within the next couple of days. From STN, I'm Ethan Silver. Thanks Ethan. Long Beach is an incredible city full of a variety of unique opportunities, such as the one we got today. It's not every day that you get to see the behind the scenes of a commercial. Now over to news correspondent Bradley Kunz with the production team behind a commercial currently being filmed right here in Long Beach. Thanks, Luca. Commercials emotionally appeal to people's wants and desires. Everything from new tech to seasonal coffee flavors get people to get out of their comfort zones to promote interactions, not just through the town, but throughout the country and even the world. We spoke to several people in the commercial industry on how commercials inspire talk about new and upcoming products and services. I mean, in this town, it's kind of funny because everyone uh, this, this is such a part of this town that I know, I know people are curious about what we're doing. But I think in other towns, it can it can show people that um, you know that people make a living doing this, and uh, and there's a there's an arm in uh, advertising and. Uh, there's an industry behind it, and I guess people curious about what that's about. Agency will submit for cinematographers that they want to use for projects, and they hand them a list of cinematographers, and they look at the reels, and they pick the one that they think will fit the build best. A lot of times the director has suggestions, and in this case, we work together a lot. And so he says, this is the guy we prefer over the guys that are on this list, and so that's how it's. That's the whole trick of advertising, is how do you get people to be inspired by what you're doing. The agency, the ad agency's entire job is to get you to do that, be inspired by what they're trying to sell you. That's the whole thing about uh, shooting commercials, is how do we get your attention for those 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and pay attention to the product that's being sold. That's the whole, whoever does that best, guess, you know, is, is the king on that one. 
usually most commercials have nothing to do with what the product is about, but about communicating an emotion. I think they always get to the emotional part. They usually use humor or uh, like uh, emotion to convey a message. It usually comes down to budget. When it's a national commercial, it's a way larger size production. This is a national commercial. The reason I said before there's a mid-size production is because it doesn't take a lot of stunts or special effects involved in this particular production. When you when you got things like that, then the you know the crew count gets larger and the, the trucks get bigger basically. For STN, I'm Bradley Cuns reporting. Finally, an issue that affects everyone in Long Beach, locals and inhabitants alike. Water pollution. Here's news correspondent Aurora Gary with more information, but first and look at our favorite Long Beach coffee shop. I'm news correspondent of Origiri. It's no secret to the people of Long Beach, the water here isn't as clear as before. As a city on the harbor, the water is an essential part for people that live here. As more and more trash washes up on shore, the community's concern for the problem grows. Uh, it's gotten worse and worse over the years, most definitely. You know, I mean, right now is a storm, which uh, adds to a little more of the mud and everything else that's in the water right now. But it's really a shame to see it's, it's increased over the years so much in every harbor, up and down the whole coast, you know, not just here. Uh, I've had my boat for seven years, eight years, you know. Oh, yeah, I've been uh, all over the world, actually, you know. Trash is littered up and down the harbor at Long Beach and causes problems not only for the residents, but also for the wildlife. Because of its location and the way it sits out in, in the ocean, it seems to catch everything that comes in from the south, comes up this way. You know, and it is a lot of storm drains coming down out of the city, which brings a lot of it down here into the harbor. And uh, it's happened to about every big city that's around, you know, it happens, you know. Uh, if people are a little more conscious about it, it might be a little better. If everyone picked up a little bit of trash like I do, if I see something in the water that's danger, I pick it up and get it out of the water, you know. If everybody did that, it might help, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, there's so much trash here. I've been here for about a year and a half now. And I understand it's a port city, uh, but I feel like they can do a little bit to clean up the, the trash. The city of Long Beach has installed trash nets outside of the port to try and catch anything that floats in. But there is still a lot that gets into the city. Um, they have like uh, catches over there um, as you come in. And, like after a rain, um, like a heavy storm, it just all like washes up right there and just looks disgusting. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say if, uh, I've used to live in Santa Barbara, um, it's up north. And um, they're pretty good about uh, cleaning up the beach um, and have like monthly uh, cleanups as well. And here, they, I, I feel like they have them like every, like so often. It's really rare to see anything like that. From SCN, I'm news correspondent Aurora Geary. Back to you, Taryn. Thanks, Aurora, for bringing attention to such an important issue. And that brings us to the end of our special STN edition of Parkland Profile. I'm Luca Petten. And I'm Taryn Merrick. Have a great day, STN. I'd say that turned out pretty great. Now let's get the weather from our favorite weatherman, Ethan Earthquake Silver. Good morning, STN. This is Ethan Earthquake Silver here with your five day forecast for the great city of Lincoln, Nebraska. Today will be 40 degrees with a 40% chance of snow showers throughout the day. Tomorrow will dip down to below freezing before Sunday brings us back up to 50 degrees and sunny skies. Monday continues with a streak of warm weather with a high of 60 and almost no chance of rain. Later this week, Tuesday and Wednesday will be warm and rainy, with Wednesday hitting 70 degrees in the afternoon. Looking forward, the upcoming forecast is showing more spring weather, which is always welcome in the Great Plains. Unfortunately, being in the Great Plains leaves Nebraska vulnerable to tornadoes. We've just been informed of a tornado watch for Hayes and Frontier counties. Because conditions are favorable for a twister, we recommend to stay safe by preparing a possible shelter and staying up to date with all the latest weather coverage. We'll update you soon. From SGN, I'm Ethan Earthquake Silver. Thanks for the weather report, Ethan. Now let's take a look at my report on how weather has affected Long Beach. California experiences 345 days of sunshine every year, which is why visitors and residents alike have been waterlogged by an abnormal influx of rain in the past few months. 
The average monthly rainfall has picked up since November, continuing into 2023, with the monthly normal increasing by over three inches, leaving a very negative effect on businesses. Oh yes, like less than 5% we make. It's bad. Usually we make a good amount, but with rain and everything, nobody wants to go out. It's cold, it's raining. Who wants to get sick around this time? Due to its prospering city and tourist attractions, Long Beach is the perfect place for food trucks to embrace the street lifestyle. With less people on the streets, though, due to rain, can make this very difficult. Yes, this is our worst year ever. We have had to cancel many events, to have to reschedule because of the rain. Food trucks aren't the only ones suffering, though. The rain has been slowing progress in new city developments and the daily life of Long Beach residents. It's a lot more unsafe because I think LA drivers in general don't really know how to drive when things flooded everywhere. So generally, like you want to add a little bit more margin whenever it's raining. With March being the end of the wettest months of the year for Long Beach, we're hoping these conditions are not long lasting and normal daily life can resume. For STN, I'm Luca Petten reporting. While we took a break from the news, let's get right back into it with some national headlines brought to you by Callie and Taryn. Good morning, STN. I'm Callie Seckler. And I'm Taryn Merrick. We're here in Long Beach, and the one thing that is consistent across the whole city is dogs. dogs. We all have our favorite breeds, and we've met and pet, and according to the American Kennel Club, the U.S. does too. For the first time in three decades, the U.S. has a new favorite dog breed, and the winner is none other than the wrinkly, world-weary French Bulldog, who has clawed its way up to become the number one pup in America this year. Bulldogs are the only thing on my TikTok for you page. Speaking of TikTok, New Zealand lawmakers will be banning TikTok from parliamentary phones. Most of the parliament is not hip and trendy enough for the app, but about 500 people will have to say goodbye to dancing on their devices. Concern for user data collection is among one of the primary reasons for the ban. It looks like TikTok will go the way of its predecessor Vine, at least in New Zealand's parliament. Speaking of being taken away, recently Ford has hit the brakes on their 2013 to 2018 Ford Fusions. The company released documents on Friday saying they're recalling their models due to a truckload of issues, including a front brake hose that can leak brake fluid and increase stopping distances. Reporting for Student Television Network, I'm Taryn Merrick. And I'm Callie Seckler. Have a great day, Long Beach. Now, while we did compete in a lot of news stories, we also participated in one of the world's best heists. Let's take a look. Hello? I have another job for you. Are you in? Can I know what it is first? Are. You. In. <sighs> Fine. Okay, here's the plan. I have a scooter reserved for you, 21st Street. Take it. Then go to the office supply store on 26th Street. There you'll park the scooter, go around the building, and sneak in. After you casually walk in, charm the secretary. Hi. Hi. By any chance, do you have any poster boards? I can go check in the back. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Then go to her laptop, not the desktop. Open the computer. There is no password. Find the operation in and out folder and download it onto your own hard drive. Then get out of there. How'd it go? Well, I mean, I lost my day off, but on the bright side, things have been a lot worse. Okay. Do you have it? I got it. Hold on. I got Where it. is the flash drive? It's right. Where is it? I don't got it. We need the flash drive. You know what this means? This was my day off. All right. Do you know what this means? We what do you mean? I'm done, man. Go find it. I could have had a secretary, and I'm done. Talk about a heist. Now let's take a look at a silent but emotional love story.
And that brings us to the end of a special STN edition of Parkland Profile. Thanks so much for coming all the way out to Long Beach, California with us. For the entire PTV crew out here, I'm Luca Petten.